Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups, we have the Eight of Swords, and we have the Queen of Swords. So we have two eights in this reading, quite interesting. So the Eight of Cups, we see this person with their back turned to us, holding their walking stick, uh, scarf, and uh, under, the, under the guise of the moon, is walking away from these full cups and walking into the darkness, walking into the mountains. So you have to think to yourself, why would someone take off on that journey? It can be challenging. It can be rocky. You may not be able to see the direction that you're headed. Um, there can be things happening in an unknown place as you move forward. Why do people take that action? Well, it's often because they feel compelled to leave. They feel that they must leave the situation that they're in currently in order to find some happiness, in order to create an opportunity to find ful fulfillment or joy, the right type of career, the right type of relationship, the right location. And so, you know, it takes a lot of uh, strength and, and character to say, I'm not happy here, even though I, on the surface, I may have so much abundance, I may have so much in my life, I'm still not there. And I need more work in order to get there. And so for some, this can be a permanent walking away. This can be, you know, I, I just can't go back to this situation. I have to have a fresh start. I have to give myself the chance for happiness. For others, it may be, I need a separation. I need a time for solitude. I need a time to reflect, to contemplate, to be introspective and to think about what's happening in my life. Why do I feel it necessary to leave behind these eight cups and, you know, what they represent in my life, perhaps, you know, having what you think you wanted, and then you find out it wasn't what you wanted. So the Eight of Cups is always an interesting card because, uh, you know, it's a powerful move to make, which is to say, I'm leaving and I'm going to pursue my happiness and my spiritual development and my growth. The, uh, but same token, you know, it can be uh, difficult for those maybe that are left behind but the Eight of Cups is walking away, and here walking away when it's dark, when the road is unknown, and there's challenges in that, and we, we grow from our challenges. So interestingly here, this Eight of Cups is adjacent to the Eight of Swords, and here the woman is blindfolded, and she's surrounded by the swords. Her hands look like they're tied, and her body is tied as well. And this is a card where you do feel trapped, where you feel restricted and you feel, um, you feel that perhaps you're not getting the support or the love or the nurturing or whatever it is that you may need in your life, that you're in this situation that feels that you can't get out of it. And it's a real downer. It's a real uh, it just is incredibly stressful and exhausting when we think of the eight of swords, which is this mental shutdown in a way of, I can't, I can't deal anymore. What am I going to do? And so you can stand here being surrounded and being blindfolded, or you can begin to say, I'm going to have to survive and I'm going to have to do what it takes to survive. And if that means 
wiggling out of this or doing my best to escape or at least to walk away one small step at a time if I have to crawl, then I'm going to do so because then that's going to make me feel unchained, um, unburdened, less trapped. And here we see these two eights. The eights, it's how we use our life experience, how we use our perspective in order to deal with challenges. And so, you know, it may very well be that this sense of restriction of feeling trapped really is the catalyst for movement in the Eight of Cups of saying, I've got to get some space from this place and I, from the headspace or the location or the people. And I'm going to think about things and I'm not sure if I'm coming back. So with this Eight of Swords, here's the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is resolute and powerful. You see the gleaming uh, sword, ready to make decisions, ready to make some harsh decisions perhaps and some blunt decisions. But what she probably is doing is pro she's probably clearing the, uh, clearing the way and clearing out of the way the people, the tasks, the scenarios, the environments that don't serve. Using the intellect and using your intelligence and your smarts to say, something isn't right here. I need to do something about this. I need to get rid of this lousy relationship that I have with my boss. I need to transfer to another division, put in my papers. Some may leave a job, some may leave a relationship, but you know, this queen of swords gives a sense of clarity and, um, truth, truthfulness by looking at what really is. And there's a sense here of being honest with yourself about the situation and the decisions that come from that come from thinking about it, looking at it at all angles, truly understanding the consequences, the impact, what you're doing with your ultimate goal in mind, which is to find peace, to spiritually grow, to have joy in your life and delight. And it may involve some tough decisions and it may involve some cutting out the people who do not add benefit to your life or cutting out the situations that are keeping you tied, keeping you feeling restricted, trapped, and unhappy. Everyone has the chance for happiness and um, you have to really take possession of that sword and to really think things through. You know, many people stay in a relationship that maybe is not the best for them because there's fear of the unknown. Will I ever meet someone again? For others, it's the same thing with a job. Well, I have this, my student loans, I have my mortgage, I have children's education. I can't make that move. And so it builds into this feeling of feeling trapped. And so decisions to be made, looking at your life clearly, uh, with clarity and understanding really what's happening. And that's going to give you, um, hopefully the strength and the ability to make some decisions. that are going to help you find some, uh, resolve and to find some growth and to find some joy down the road. It may be actually you having to walk down that road and to leave a situation behind. So interesting cards. Uh, eight is really about power and eights are about progress. Uh, but they also can be about, um, you know, how we're dealing with, st with stress and struggles. So numerology wise, we have two eights is 16, 17, and that reduces to an eight. Hmm, very interesting. So I'm going to choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day. From Archangel Michael, a favorable outcome. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to the situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. 
So choices, decisions, um, challenges, perhaps walking an unknown path to be strong enough to do that, to walk away, uh, says a lot about someone that, um, you can't fake happiness and you can't fake joy. So find your joy in life, find your purpose. And here we have a favorable outcome. So I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, leave a comment below. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow for another reading.